Hi everybody, how's it going this morning? It's Bubba Rob here. <laughs> I guess you guys are wondering what my weigh-in is today. <laughs> it's that day. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of want to discuss some three things about this week for some, some changes that I've noticed. I made some notes here again. And you know, I, I think they're very important. You know, you, you got, you're going to want to know this because, you know, the, the whole, you know, journey I'm on because of who I am and, you know, what's happened to me in my life and, and um, you know, basically my health. I mean, it's not all that easy. But anyways, I want to, okay, I'm going to get on with this. The first thing I want to do is discuss that I managed to increase my cardio activity this week from zero <laughs> to more than zero. <laughs> you know, about 15, 20 minutes a day, a good walk at Royal Roads here. And, you know, I pretty much uh, enjoy it. It's a beautiful place to go. Uh, it gives me a lot of serenity walking around. Uh, you know, it's very mindful with myself right first walk I did this week I only managed about 12 minutes the pain in my hips and my back was brutal that goes to the next point but um, you know whenever you create movement and you're not used to it and at that weight you can't expect everything to be hunky-dory and you can't expect it to be easy, right? Every little step you take more, it's just better for you in the long run. You're going to have to endure the pain a bit. You may have to uh, take the odd ibuprofen like I had to uh, to get going. But each day you're going to show a little bit of progress, right? So when you when you get that progress each day, and no matter how how much you hurt or hard, how hard it is for you to get going, just remember tomorrow's going to be a little bit better than today, right? It's Rome is. Uh, I've said before, Rome wasn't built in a day, and you know it, after years of possibly. Um, you know, any abuse you've put yourself through, if you are overweight, I mean, we're all doing this diet for different reasons. Uh, you, you know, there is, uh, it, certain things got to be expected. So, you know, don't get down on yourself. Just kind of go with it. Take responsibility for what's happened and just keep going. You know, just kind of like the, you know, the old John Wayne character that just fucking buckles up and goes, right? <laughs> okay, and the other thing I found, and it's been happening each week, is by me being really focusing on being mindful and trying to connect with myself, um, I've noticed that I'm quite a bit more satiated and the volume of my food is decreasing and I'm not having to have so many meals so that to me is a is, is a big thing you know your body is going to tell you especially when you really connect with yourself you know there's you know there is a spirituality in food and you got to allow that to you know, be absorbed in your body, be mindful of it, and connect to it. Uh, one of the things I haven't started doing yet this week, and I'm going to get on it, is uh, I'm going to get back to doing some yoga stretches because, you know, that's really important, and that's going to decrease the pain load even more. And, um, you know, it's just, just good for you, right? Every little bit. Every little bit, every day. Just a little bit. Okay. Those are really the, the, the three main things that have happened. 
you know, just little changes. Keep them going and just keep moving forward. You know, it is what it is. Just don't give up. And the other thing, I guess what you really want to know is how much weight did I lose or did I lose any? What do you guys think? Hmm. Well, I did actually lose three pounds this week. So in the matter of 28 days, one month, less than one month, I've gone from 371 to 356. So that's a 15 pound drop. Um, I have noticed a few changes with some of my clothes. Uh, kind of put it in perspective. I might go to Costco later tonight and put 15 pounds of butter in my cart and just see what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a photo of that and, you know, post it on here, you know. So, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm having a dramatic weight decrease, but I think 15 pounds a, a month is good. I still got, uh, oh, geez, what is it? Uh, another 116 to go on my goal list, so... You know, if I do 15 pounds a month, which is a lot, really, um, to drop, right? Let's say, what, one to two pounds a week? You know, I should have this thing in the bag in about 10 or 11 months. You know, it's just going to blow by. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a challenge here, and it's kind of like, you know, if you guys want to do something like this for yourselves, give yourself a challenge or a reminder. And my challenge to myself, I'm not going to share my Harley this year until I get below 340 pounds. So there's a good couple more weeks that I have to suffer watching everybody rip around and enjoying themselves in this lovely weather. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> but you know, I know you're all going to hold me accountable up there. I love you all. I appreciate all the lovely messages. And I just want you to know if there's anything you'd like to ask me, feel free to ask or if something you want me to discuss, I'll discuss it. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be on the carnivore diet. Uh, I'll get to uh, whatever I can. The only thing I, I won't discuss if it's something really totally inappropriate. You know, we're all real people and we need to be mindful and respectful of others. That's just not a stoic way. That's really supposed to be the biker way. Right? You know. So anyways, thank you so much. Please hit me with a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment. I just hope uh, and and share it. Share the shit out of it. I've, I've made it to Australia already. What the heck? You know, got to be a good group of people down there. They started out as a penal colony, right? Got to be pretty solid. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.